welcome back to my channel. Today we will become farmers. Yeah? So we are going to be testing the pH of soil so that we can tell if they are acidic or alkaline and then we can determine the types of crops that can grow. Hence, we can enhance the diet for pre and postnatal parents. So the farmer here has a son. He's a 15 year old son. He's an um, informed one and he's going to be helping us collect the soil. Then we're going to test the soil. We're going to do a DIY, a DIY of the soil. We were going to test if it's acidic or alkaline with vinegar and sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda. So now we are collecting the soil. We need to get some good quality soil, I think, yeah? Right? Mm -hmm. So how are you? I'm very fine. How long have you been a farmer? I think 10 years. <laughs> Since you're five? Yeah. <laughs> so what are you doing now? Just collecting the soil for the experiment. Oh, so you have to dig a little bit deep into, to get good quality soil, I think, yes? Yeah, but you must get the top there because it's the most fertile. Oh, that I didn't know. And that's your pet dog? Yeah, those are my dog. That's baby dog. Oh, nice to meet baby dog. So what amount of soil do we need? Just need, I think, yeah, this is just enough. Okay. enough. Okay, so we are going to, we've collected the soil and we're going to go and uh, grind the soil and so that we can remove the air particles, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yes, so what is going on now? You're grinding the soil to make it fine. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing, little farmer? And your friend over here, he's just pouring stuff, eh? <laughs> he's making the sun so fertile. <laughs> okay. Why do we need to grind this well? Just to make it fine, so that it does not disturb us during the experiment. Okay. So now, We've uh, ground, we've grinded the soil to make it fine, and then we're going to start with the vinegar. Yeah, first we need to do the base, the basic of the experiment. This is what you know as baking powder, marjandas, the sodium bicarbonate. Yes. Put some little here. We just want to know what happens. This is the base, mm -hmm. or the what you love calling alkaline reaction. Mm -hmm. Then it gives some vinegar. Mm -hmm. Vinegar comprises of pasteurized water and acetic acid. Yes. So, acid and base. Mm -hmm. You should get that fizzing. Mm -hmm. You can add some more so that you can see clearly. Mm. See? Yes. The fizzing. Even you can hear the sound. Oh, yeah. So, this is the basic reaction. It's called the neutralization, the neutralization reaction because this is acidic mm -hmm. and this is basic. Okay. So that's what you're going. Since if you understand that part, you understand what happens to the soil. The first experiment we take the acetic acid, that is vinegar, mm -hmm. and the soil. Mm -hmm. The DIY here we call it. We start. To settle, mm -hmm. give it like 10 seconds, I like that. Just watch it as you see. What happened in the first experiment does not happen in the second, nothing happens. No sound, if you can hear it, <laughs> is nothing. So, we know that this soil has nothing has happened. We're not sure if it's acidic or it's the vinegar that has gone bad, we're not sure. So we go to the second experiment to try to redeem ourselves. <laughs> redeem ourselves. So what do you think? Do you think the soil here is acidic or is it alkaline? Myself, I think it's acidic. Uh -huh. But let us make sure because science is what is proven. So you're adding the distilled water first? Yeah, we're adding the distilled water, making the soil muddy. Oh, I thought you could first move. Making the soil just muddy enough. Mm -hmm. Not also logged, muddy. Muddy? Okay. So 
we have the mud. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we have mud here. So to the mud is what you're going to add the baking soda. Yeah. So what amount of baking soda do you need? You Any should, amount. I think you should wash this. Yeah. Right? Wash this. Because... Mm-hmm. Okay, we have the mud itself. Mm-hmm. You can add any amount. Let's you do can. a teaspoon and see what happens. Because... Yeah, economist. No, 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 I'm just thinking like... <laughs> we have to start somewhere, we just can't flood it in, can we? And you can see the little farm over there, who's made a small farm. <laughs> uh-huh. You just stir it a little bit. You can add some more so that you can see clearly. No, you are watching through a camera, I'm watching through my eyes. So this is something you've done very many times, right? Yeah. Oh. I have to do it more than once just to be sure. You know, it can be linked to people in the world. And my friend was told to talk to in the internet. <laughs> uh, we are doing some experiments, so we're going to get the fact no? that you can see clearly. You know, I want people to see clearly. Okay. I see bubbles. Yes, you see bubbles. I want you to line it up with what you did in the first place. Mm hmm. Just put in the some sodium bicarbonate mm -hmm. and the acetic acid. This is a mixture of crystallized water. Vinegar, yeah. you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, acetic acid. Just let's use layman language. Vinegar. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hmm? That's a fizz. See? It's fizz. Even the bubbles mm -hmm. are close to each other. But this, you know, this is real. The real base, the real alkaline. Mm -hmm. And this is just soil. Mm -hmm. So, since it's not as much as this, mm -hmm. but it's there, mm -hmm. we can range it. It's pH scale. Mm -hmm. We can range it from, let's say, mm -hmm, we can range it from 6.0 to 7.5 or 5.0 to 6.5 because it's slightly acidic. It's acidic soil. Mm -hmm. Now, we want to know how this acidic soil improves our garden first oh, you need this to is our garden we have first. onions here yeah we have <laughs> onions yes onions first of all you must know they love acidic soil oh yeah they grow well in other uh, do you give me like our uh, five other crops that grow well in acidic soil uh, i can give you onions yes uh -huh. i can give you some sweet potatoes mm -hmm. the irish potatoes mm -hmm. the carrots mm -hmm. i can give you cabbages mm -hmm. but not the red cabbage cabbage mm -hmm. cabbage cabbage yeah green then the normal white cabbage yes yeah. the white cabbage is <laughs> call it yeah and what are the other what are the crops that grow well in alkaline soil alkaline soil yeah we have now the keyword here is raw mm -hmm. so we have raw mm -hmm. broccoli mm -hmm. raw well the red the raw red cabbage yes and we have others like there's this type of potato. I mm -hmm. don't remember its name correctly, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's like an Irish potato, only whiter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they also grow in base. They grow in basic soil or that alkaline soil. Mm -hmm. So here, what I have, I don't have those basic. So soil. the soil here, based on our experiment, we've confirmed that it's acidic soil. Mm. So yes, I want to show you something very mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is just my small garden to conserve space because you know the world, the space is ending. So this is one <laughs> way of conserving space. Mm -hmm. Put water here. This is how I water it. Oh, that, this is how you water your onions. Yes, you oh, know. This is very creative of you. Yes, the mm -hmm. pipe has multiple holes for mm -hmm. drip irrigation, so mm -hmm. the water will be distributed properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as you can notice, mm -hmm. this is grade A manure. Mm -hmm. You can see this is grade A manure. Mm -hmm. Many people can ask why I use manure. Mm -hmm. We use manure because manure lowers the pH of soil. What do you mean by lowering the pH of soil? Mm -hmm. You mean that it makes it more acidic. And the engineer is out. <laughs> He's very creative yes. of him. 
Okay, so it lowers the pH, and that's why our onions they are growing very properly. You can see that at the bottom there is this hole there. This is to drain. There's a hole here. There's a hole. We'll continue drain properly in the manure mm -hmm. because it's it lowers the pH of the soil. Lowers the pH of the soil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's why we have very fruitful onions here. Mm -hmm. You can catch the leaves to eat. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Uh, pardon me, or okay. you can wait for it to grow and you can get that bulgy onion you love, you mm -hmm. all desire. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the basic experiment. There's also a second experiment that you can do on yourself a mm -hmm. DIY. Mm -hmm. You can take red cabbage, mm -hmm. cut it, mm -hmm. boil it, mm -hmm. to release the mm -hmm. <laughs> to release the water. Mm -hmm. You know that redness. Oh my yeah. god, this scientist. <laughs> a little red. scientist just washed me with. Sodium bicarbonate. <laughs> to release the red water. Mm -hmm. The red water will be better because it will act as a it like a universal, universal indicator. Indicator. Yeah, so it, it can, can test the pH of the soil better. Yeah. And it can change color. So that will be in a better. Next time we'll stream it live. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Okay. <laughs> so we've done our experiment and we've confirmed the type of soil that we have. And we'd encourage all parents to do this so, this kind of experiment on their soils mm. so they know which kind of crops do best in their area. Okay, this experiment, how do we, how does it help us as parents? It helps us as parents because it will enhance our nutrition. Mm -hmm. We can we get to grow more crops and it will, we get to have more security on the foods that we're growing. At the same time, it will improve the quality of the milk that we're producing as mothers. Hence, We'll have better and healthier children. Oh, like our little scientist. This is our little farmer today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like our little farmer over here. Okay, why do children love milk? That breast milk? Why our do children they... don't necessarily love breast milk. Mm -hmm. the, um, milk has a, an element in it that usually makes any person who takes it. Even the cow milk that we drink, there's an addictive element in it. Babies, on the other hand, they don't like milk. They mm -hmm. need the milk. Because, you know, the milk is made of iron. It has all the vitamins. Mm -hmm. It has antibodies. It has antigens. It has water. And this is a balanced diet for the babies. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that will be it, Elysian. Thank okay. you for having us. Oh, yeah. Thank you for inviting me to your farm. You have a lovely farm. Thank you. Okay. Till next time, mm -hmm. subscribe, share, like, comment, and bye.